Yo, yo, what's going on? It's your boy, Mr. Locario, the bad boy of the dating game. What's good? So, um, over the past couple of months, man, I've been getting emails uh, from people that have been sending me videos of dudes on YouTube um, who make videos talking about, you know, how much they can't get women and how women don't like them and how they're losers and you know, uh, nobody wants to be with them and stuff like that. So, you know, I'm getting all these different videos and, you know, I'm not going to name any names. It's, 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 a, it's a lot of them out there. Um, there was some, some group they said they were part of a part of, and I remember I heard about this group, um, before it was called, um, TFL true, true forced loneliness, like something like that. And these dudes on YouTube, you know, they make videos and they're saying that, you know, no girls want them and all this other stuff, right? Now, what I've noticed, I, I watched a couple of these videos, and what I noticed is, is this, is that and the, the, the main reason why women don't like these guys and guys like them, and even, you know, if you're listening to this and you're having trouble getting with women, right? But, you know, specifically, like, I'm talking about the guys I've seen on these YouTube videos, the reason why these women don't like them is simply because these guys don't like themselves. You understand? It's really that simple. They don't like themselves and then therefore women aren't going to like them. It's really that simple. If you like yourself, you will be confident. You will actually, uh, you know, feel like you are the type of guy who can get women so then when you interact with women, you know, you give off that energy that you should be getting girls, that, you know, a girl would like you, that a girl would want to have sex with you. But if you don't like yourself and you're not confident, then when you see girls or you're around girls, you know, you're not going to really make anything happen because you're going to give off that energy. That's pretty much telling women to, to not fuck with you. You understand you see yourself a certain way. You see yourself as a loser. You see yourself as, uh, you know, some guy that women don't want. And then that's exactly what happens because that's what you're focusing on. That's what you're uh, making your life out to be. You understand? See, this is the part that I, I always find funny is that these a lot of these dudes, they they think they're special. What do I mean by that? What, I'm, what do I mean that they think they're special? They think that they're the only ones that have situations where they get rejected. They think that, you know, they're the only ones who um, run into women that don't want them. They're the only ones who, you know, have a hard time, uh, um, you know, attracting women. Do you understand? See, the difference between those guys and, you know, most other guys is that most other guys, you know, they at least keep trying to make something happen or they try to, you know, step up their game, try to learn how to interact with women so that they can get better, you know, with interacting with women so they can have some success. But a lot of these guys out here who don't like themselves, they think that there's nothing they can do. They think that there's nothing that could be done. And then they just sit in the same spot and they're just, you know, sitting there lonely and, and horny because ain't nothing popping off. You see what I'm saying? But see, the fact that they do not like themselves is the big reason why they're not getting women. Right. It's kind of like if I if I told you, if I said to you, yo, I got I got a, a hookup, excuse me, on a free car. Right. I said, I will give you a free car. And you're like, all right, cool. I'm, I'm down. You know, let's make this happen. And then, then you know, I start to say, okay, cool. Well, uh, but I got to let you know, though, um, this car, it only has three wheels and there's no engine. And one of the windshields or, or you know, one of the windows are fucked up. It's, it's broken. Right. So now that I'm explaining to you what c type of car this is, you're kind of like, yeah, I don't, you know. Not really feeling this anymore. I don't think I want it. You understand? But if I said, hey, I got this brand new BMW, this shit is tight, is you know, then you're like, hell yeah, let's make this happen, right? So when I'm explaining to you that the car sucks, you don't want it because you're, you know, I'm letting you know that it sucks. So if you're 
talking about yourself and you're saying, I ain't shit, I'm a loser, I suck, you know, nobody wants to be with me, I'm whack, right? You're, you're saying this stuff to yourself. What makes you think a woman wants to get with you? You understand? You're like that car with only three wheels and no engine, right? What's the point? So you have to change the way you view yourself and then you'll start to, you know, become more attractive to women. It's really that simple. See, a lot of guys, they, you know, they go on this whole thing where they think, oh, it's all about looks. Because I know I'm going to get comments, oh, it's but it's all about looks and it's all about money and it's all about status and all this other stuff. Now, you know, I always be trying to tell you guys, look, it's not just about looks right now. If you're a good looking dude, you understand, you're going to have chicks check you out and there are going to be certain chicks who you might get off the strength of you off, off the strength of your looks. You understand? Technically, no matter how you look. You'll probably get some girls off the strength of your looks. You know why? Because looks are subjective. Right? So the way that you look, there's going to be a number of different girls who are going to be into how you look, no matter how you look, meaning no matter who you are. Do you understand what I'm saying? So a girl might look at you and you might be her type physically, and then she'll want to, you know, make something happen. The girl might look at me, and I'm going to be her type physically. And then the girl that thought you were attractive physically might think I'm not attractive physically. And the girl that thinks I'm attractive physically might not think you're attractive physically. Do you understand? So this is what I say when it doesn't really matter, because it's kind of like, a, you know, it cancels itself out. So what you got to understand is, is that, if you really want to get things happening with women, if you want to actually, you know, make stuff happen, it first starts with you understanding that you have to believe in yourself, that you have to be confident, that you have to like yourself. Because when you're, you know, interacting with a woman, right, she has to feel like she's with a guy worth being with. Do you understand? And the thing is, is that if you're, you know, have you have that energy like, oh, I suck, I'm a loser, nobody wants me, and all this other stuff, she's not going to want to be around that. See, women don't like, uh, you know, guys who are not confident. The reason why, because, you know, it's funny because I even saw a couple of these videos where dudes were saying, oh, confidence is bullshit and confidence doesn't work. And I'm like, Really? How would you know confidence is bullshit if you're, you, you're not even, you've never been confident? You understand? Like, I don't understand how that works. But they're like, oh, confidence is bullish. I'm like, listen, women love confident dudes. And I said this before in another video. Women love confidence, confident dudes because what a woman is looking for usually in men is something that they don't have, Right? Now, this is not to say that there aren't, there aren't confident women, but a lot of times um, women are very, uh, you know, they, 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 they sort of look to their insecurities a lot. You understand what I'm saying? So when they're feeling insecure and they're, they have all those insecurities within them, they're not going to be attracted to a man who is insecure because a woman is looking for a man who is the opposite of her. Do you understand? If you notice, a lot of the guys who get the most uh, women are the more masculine dudes. I talked about this before in my, you know, I have a whole audio program about how to step up your game and and tap into your masculine traits because that's the thing that's going to make women, uh, you know, gravitate to you, right? But women are really attracted to masculine dudes because women, ha they have their feminine aspects and then that's going to make them want to you know, get with a guy who's more masculine. So a lot of times you have a lot of girls running around who are insecure. So they're looking for that guy who's confident to attach themselves to, right? Because they want that confidence in their life. They don't want to be with somebody else who's insecure. Do you understand what I'm saying? Like if you notice women, they, they, they always, because I even had a dude hit me up the other day in, 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 uh, you know, um, say this he was like you know he's like i noticed that uh women look for a lot of things in men that they don't even have themselves 
or they don't even do themselves. You understand? Like, yo, is, you know, women want you to go up and approach them and do all this other stuff. Women don't go up and approach dudes. You understand? But they want you to do it. You understand what I'm saying? They, you know, women love decisive men, but women are indecisive as hell. Do you understand what I'm saying? Women are insecure as hell. So guess what? They're going to want a confident guy. You understand? So if you up there sitting there talking about, oh, you know, this and that and I suck and I'm a loser and nobody wants me and I'm terrible and I'm disgusting and, you know, I, you know, I have nothing going on and all this other stuff. Chicks are not fucking with that. It's not going to happen. You understand? It is not going to happen. They're going to run away from you. They're going to be like, okay, this guy, I'm, I'm good. I'm good on that. You understand what I'm saying? Women love the confident guy because women, they get, they're attracted to how a man makes them feel. And your confidence, right, makes her feel secure because your confidence is basically a representation of you being like basically stable and sure of yourself. You understand? And they want to be around a man who is like that. A man who has shit figured out, a man who knows where he's going, a man who has a purpose, a man who, you know, makes things happen. They want to be a part of that shit. Do you understand? Women want to be a part of your program that, you know, they want to be a part of that, that situation that you got going. But if your situation is fucking you self-loathing and all this, you know, negativity about yourself, they're not going to want to be down with that. You understand what I'm saying? So a lot of this, you know stuff going on and the reason why women don't like you is because you don't like yourself you have to start liking yourself you have to start being confident you have to start understanding your value because you guys are valuable but you're not you don't see it and all that stuff that you think about yourself is it's all going on in your head let me tell you something nobody cares okay nobody nobody cares meaning that you're saying, oh, I'm a loser, I, I'm this, I suck, and, and, and nobody likes me. Like, there aren't people uh, having meetings and, and discussions talking about how much of a loser you are. There's not people, uh, you know, um, going around and, and having, like, uh, you know, freaking meetups and, 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 and support groups of how much of a loser and how whack you are. They don't care. Nobody cares. So all that whack shit, all that I'm a loser shit, all that, oh, I suck and nobody, that's all coming from you because nobody, nobody cares. Nobody's looking at you. You understand? This is, I even tell this dudes that, you know, I get dudes that uh, they hit me up and they be like, yo, you know, I, I, I want to approach a girl, but I'm, I'm nervous because everybody's going to be looking at me. Listen, when you go and approach a girl in the street, 99% of the people that's around you don't care. They're not even looking at what you're doing. They don't care. All that shit is going on in your head. You understand what I'm saying? They don't fucking care. You understand? So the thing is, is that if you think you're a loser, if you think you suck and all the other stuff and it's going on in your head, it's up to you to change how you view yourself. And then once you change how you view yourself, that's when you're going to attract women. Right. But if you keep going on this path and this road of, oh, what was me and no women want me and I'm terrible and I suck and all this other craziness, then, you know, shit's not going to work for you. Right. And the thing is, is that, you know, if you are really serious about changing and making things happen and seeing results, you have to step up your game. You have to learn the game. You understand? Like I'm seeing these videos with these dudes and they're like, oh, confidence is bullshit. And they're like, oh, all this game stuff is bullshit. And it's all about if you got money. And I'm like, how the hell do you even know that confidence is bullshit? How do you know that game is bullshit? Have you have you done it? Have you tried? Have you tried to do anything uh, but, you know, uh, shit on yourself all day? You understand what I'm saying? How are these other guys who some, you know, because I'm watching some of these dudes videos and they're talking about, oh, I'm 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 not attractive enough. And I'm like, dude, I know dudes who look they like they look way worse than some of these dudes. You understand some of these dudes aren't bad looking dudes. You understand 
I see a lot of dudes there, average looking dudes. Some dudes, you know, are, are pretty decent looking guys. And I'm like, what are you what are you talking about? What is you're, you're complaining about your looks, but you don't look bad. I don't understand what you're talking about. But this is the story that, you know, they're putting in their head. This is what they want to believe. This is where they want to go with it. And this is why they are in the situations they're in. You understand? Because you got to understand, son, everybody, every dude, every guy is going to go through the same shit. Every guy is going to go, you know, try to talk to a girl and they're going to get a girl who's going to reject them. They're going to get a girl who is going to give them a number. They're going to get a girl who's going to plan a date with them. They're going to get a girl who's going to flake on a date. They're going to get a girl who they'll have sex with. They're going to get a girl who they're about to have sex with her, but it doesn't happen because she changes her mind. They're going to get a girl who's, you know, playing games. They're going to get a girl who's just wishy-washy all the time when it comes time to really get down and do something. They're going to get a girl who, you know, they want to. Uh, be in a relationship with but she's not really ready to do it they're gonna get a girl who's gonna stalk them they're gonna get a girl who's going to you know uh text them all day and never meet up there's all these different fucking scenarios that's going to happen when you are out here uh you know putting in that work right but everything that you want is out there right if you want a chick to hook up with, they're out there. If you want a chick to be your girlfriend, they're out there. If you want a chick to, you know, uh, go on dates and do whatever, they're out there. The, the point is, though, is that while you're trying to get those girls, you're going to run into girls who are going to flake on you. You're going to run into girls who are going to reject you. They're out there. All the shit is out there. But the problem is, is with these guys is that, you know, since they you know, don't believe in themselves and they're so insecure and they think they're losers and all that other shit. What happens is, is that when they approach girls, most of the girls that they, they're, you know, interacting with or, you know, most of the girls that they talk to, they can sense that insecurity. They can sense that this guy, you know, he doesn't think he's a cool guy. And then she's like, why would I want to hang out with this guy? You understand? And then that just repeats the cycle of him thinking that, oh, no girls want him because he's a loser and blah, 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 blah. You understand? But he's creating that shit. He's creating it. If he switches it up, if he does something different, he will get different results. Right? And the shit might take some time. You know, you got to take some time to get out that, that funk and that bullshit that he's thinking. But if he tries, you know, and he he keeps going and he, you know, starts to evaluate what he's doing, things that he can improve on, things that he can learn, you understand different things that you can make happen. And then, you know, you can actually uh, succeed in the dating game. This is why I have my membership program, badboymembership.com. You understand? Go to badboymembership.com to join the membership. This is why I put out these videos all the time. So that you can learn how to do this stuff. You understand? So that's pretty much it. Listen, um, guys, if you have any questions, make sure you click the link below. And I'll holler at you later. Remember, the truth is inside you. Peace. I'm gone. Now, before you turn off this video, I want you to do three quick things. One, I want you to click the link below so you can send me a question and I'll do a video on it. Two, I want you to click the link under that to get my free audio program, Undeniable Game, which gives you seven tips on how to really attract beautiful women. And number three, I want you to click the link under that to go to badboymembership.com where you get 45 to 90 minute audio and video dating advice tutorials every month. Hey, what's up? It's dating and life coach, Mr. Locario. Go to badboymembership.com and master the dating game by joining my Bad Boy Membership Program. In this program, you'll receive 45 through 90 minute, easy to follow, step-by-step -step dating advice tutorials that's guaranteed to help you attract, date, and have sex with beautiful women. Join the Bad Boy Membership today by going to badboymembership.com. That's badboymembership.com.